Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Trello with Confluence. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Trello.com. Once we do that, we want to create ourselves a workplace. If you're familiar with Trello, uh, you probably got uh, already a couple of uh, workspaces going for your uh, work peers or your uh, colleagues so once we go to the board and we want to pick the board uh, that we want to integrate we click on here uh, on the board and we want to go to the top right corner on the top right corner there's a show menu button we want to show menu and we want to go to power apps we want to close this one and we try to find uh, confluence as you can see there's a confluence cloud that we want to use by just uh, simply pressing add and uh, you basically make the integration happen there is other way around though uh, we can use zapier uh, which is also integration app uh, once we're here we also need to create uh, we need to create um, account once again sorry and we want to go to dashboard and top left corner we click on the make a zap and uh, we can name our zap by putting Trello uh, by uh, to Confluence. And once again, uh, we have to set up a trigger. Our trigger app will be Trello. So we have to go like this and we pick Trello as our starting point. We need to choose an event. Let's go uh with a for example new member on the card continue we now have to choose an account uh, let's go with the one we created a couple of minutes ago we press continue and the trigger will uh, be affecting ms stone test board continue and we have to test the trigger now uh, or sorry we don't have to test it it's just it's an option so Second action uh, will be the next app. Uh, the next one is obviously Confluence. Let's go with Confluence Cloud. Uh, and uh, when the new member on the card appears on uh, Trello, for example, it will create page or blog post on Confluence. Continue. And now you just have to sign in to Confluence. I think it's very easy. Uh, uh, set up it for um, through Zapier, but both ways work just fine. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.